Excuse me, can I have the check, please? Ready. It's gonna be 200 pesos, please. Yeah. You know what? I won't be able to tip you this time. Oh, no, uh, don't worry about it. Here you go, though. Okay. Listen, could you help me out? Mm -hmm. Um, There's an emergency and I gotta mm -hmm. go home with my daughter. But my phone died. Could you get me an Uber, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. Yeah? Okay. Let me go get my cell phone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, what's your address? Yes, it's uh, Allende Street. Mm -hmm. 1105. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna take five minutes, but uh, okay. it's gonna pick you up right All here. Right. Around where? Well, I'm not from around here, so. Mm, usually oh, no. Uber stop here, so. Let me, let me show you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. This is where they stop where? usually. If not, maybe across the street, but... Over there? Alright. Thank you very much. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, excuse me, uh, what's your name? Oh, I'm Anna. Anna. Nice meeting you, Anna. Can I ask you something? Why did you decide to help me even when I didn't even tip you? Mm, because that happens sometimes. I know it's only... I see. Weren't you bothered by what I did? No, well, I mean, I know, I know there's sometimes only enough money for food, so I know sometimes it's not enough. <laughs> I see, I see. Well, well, thank you for being kind to me. Um, why are you working here? Well, I work here because I need it. I'm from Ameca, and I want to go to school for architecture, and I came here to Guadalajara, and... I left my mom and my small sister behind and my father passed away two years ago and we had it really hard so I came here to the city but but at the same time that I'm studying I have to work. So you're already in college, right? Yeah, I'm already studying. I'm doing great but the hard thing is that well, it's been taking a while for me to get used to the city. I'm trying to adapt here to the big city since it's this big it's also very it's very unsafe i think that's what i've been struggling with the most it's affected me a lot because i really didn't know how was it here and i've been robbed already twice twice already yeah how long have you been here uh, well i've been here for seven eight months eight months and you got robbed twice yeah <laughs> Do you live nearby? No, not really. Well, I live quite far from here, but but that's what I can afford. But it gets very dark, and honestly, yeah, it was very, very dark, and and yeah, they they took my cell phone. I see, I see. Yeah, um, that happens. <laughs> well, it sounds really difficult. Why did you choose to be an architect? Um, I told my mom that I was gonna build her house. Obviously, that's what I'm studying for. And I told her that I would give her back everything she's given me. Mm -hmm. When my dad passed away, she took care of me. I was my little sister. and I feel that I, I would like to give her back everything she's given me. I know time and love, you can just give back. But I don't know. I want to give her a place where she can be comfortable. And my little sister is comfortable. And there's still a long way, but we'll get there. Listen, how come you're always so optimistic about everything? <laughs> you're always smiling and... <laughs> Even when I didn't tip you, I'm really sorry about not tipping you. But uh, you still... You've been really nice to me and you're helping me. How do you do that? Mm, well, I think that it's what keeps me... With... You know, with... I think... It's what keeps me with the motivation to someday help my mom if I'm mad or in a bad mood or complaining. It's gonna be harder. I see. Maybe I'm not in the best situation, but it's not really the worst. And I have a really good motivation on my sister and my mom. You know, and I want to keep on studying mm -hmm. too. So I want to build houses. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I really like the attitude. Even when I didn't tip you? This was a social experiment. I just wanted to see how someone would treat me if I didn't tip. Uh, I was expecting a shift in your attitude towards me. Um, I've been to other places and... Depending on how well you tip, they treat you differently. 
so I was really impressed in, in how you decided to still be kind to me. And you're always cheerful and optimistic, so uh, I would like to tip nice. you now. Here no, you no. <laughs> For real, it's no, all yours. No, no, I can't. For real. No, it's a lot. So you can take care of your needs, pay for school, pay your rent, whatever you need. The world really needs a lot of people like you. People who can put a smile forward with an optimistic view of life and a kind heart. I really, I just want to reward you, you know, for being so kind to me. Thank you so much. Really? I'm embarrassed to receive this. No, I can't. Sorry. Here you go. Oh no. For real, it's all really? yours. For real. You deserve it, okay? Keep it, please. I know how things are, you know? I went through all of it. When I was younger, I was a waiter. So I really know how it is. I know how people can be. I know how it feels when you make your best effort and people are mean or won't tip. Really? I mean, this is embarrassing, but I have been... I'm, I'm two months behind in my apartment's rent and... Honestly, half of this, I can send it to my mom. And I even I even have some left for food. Thank you very much. I hope you, I hope you keep up being like this. this. You're so optimistic. optimistic. It's contagious. You also told me that uh, you ride the bus, right? Yeah. And that you got mugged twice. Yeah, that too. How is it having to use public transportation all the time? Oh, it's ugly, honestly, because where I used to live, I didn't really need any transportation and everything was really close and I think change was very drastic. And how are you doing in school? I just started my first semester, but um, I want to end it. I want to go all the way through. I see. It's like my biggest motivation. It's just like... Your dream. For sure. Yeah, I want to build my mom's house and we'll take it from there. <laughs> I see. And how are you doing? How are your grades? I usually have pretty good grades. I see. Sometimes it's a lot, you know, with work and the with moving, you know, I don't have a lot of free time. And sometimes I'm too tired, but I really, really try. You know, I don't give it my all to all of my projects, but yeah, I try. <laughs> I know it's been really complicated for you to adapt to the big city and I really admire the way you work and push toward your goals and um, trying to become an architect to help people out that's just amazing after what happened to my dad I learned that I mean you start thinking that life can end in, or change in a minute and I feel like that change should be positive for my mom and my sister and I so, because because you don't really know, you don't know what can happen. And as long as my mom lives, I want to build her her house. I see. Uh, I got a last question for you. Would it be helpful for you to have some other means of transportation, maybe a bike, car? Oh, it would help a lot. Would that help you out? It would be a lot easier, a lot easier, and um, less less tired, really. To Come to go, it would be a little safer. Yeah, yeah. Listen, would having a car help you in school to have better grades? For sure. I mean, I'm so focused on my goals that, like, maybe a mop would be, I don't know, some kind of transportation, maybe a motorbike. A bike? In the, in the near future. I see. Yeah, a motorbike would be good. <laughs> what would you say if I. If I give you a car, no, 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 okay. no, no. If I give you a car, <laughs> would you bring your grades up? Do you think we can do that? If I give you a car, would you still be doing your best in school? No, <laughs> you're kidding. For real? I can't believe this. Would you be able to do I, that? I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I could definitely. For real. Take it. Yeah, it would help a lot. <laughs> it's a brand new car. Wanna see it? Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Look, we got plenty of cars here. 
Which one do you think it is? I don't know. Look for it. Yeah, it's definitely that one. That one? Yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Go check it out. <laughs> it's all yours. This is for you. This is the one. For real. The world would be a better place with more people like you. And I want to reward you for that. I really want to make things easier for you a little bit. You are an example for so many. You have a lot of goals and I want you to finish school to help your family Thank out. You so much. I want you to have this. We're gonna begin the process to, to make sure this car is 100% yours. Don't worry about it. And in a few days, you're gonna be able to, to drive it freely. <laughs> Visit your family maybe. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, don't worry. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really hope it helps. Can I hug you? Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you.